Why do you drink? There are many reasons. Thirst is the main one. Our bodies need fluid to keep us hydrated and full of fluid. Other reasons can be taste, caffeine, temperature. There's nothing like a warm drink on a cold day or a cold drink on a hot day. And sugar. Many of our drinks are high in sugar. What do cocaine and sugar have in common? This might seem like a funny question, but both cocaine and sugar cause activity to increase in the same areas of the brain. This area is known as the pleasure center or the reward center of the brain. Pretty interesting, hey? What other foods have sugar? Candies, jams and jellies, pudding, chocolate milk, chocolate in all forms, frozen treats, commercially made treats, baked goods, cakes, cookies, brownies. Are you hungry yet? Hunger can be a side effect of added sugar. Let me explain. Let's take a closer look at what goes on inside of our bodies after we eat. The food that we eat goes through our digestive tract. Foods such as grains, fruits, milk products, and sugar-sweetened beverages are changed into sugar after digestion. This sugar, which is also known as glucose, passes into the bloodstream and is carried to all the cells in our body. This is how our bodies have energy to work properly. The rise in blood glucose after eating these food signals the pancreas to make insulin. Insulin opens the cells in our body like a key opens a door. Once the door is open, the glucose goes into the cells and the cells use this glucose for energy. For people with insulin resistance, the pancreas has to work a lot harder to make a lot more insulin in order to open the cells to let the glucose in. This extra insulin acts on other cells in our body, like our brain. When our bodies have higher levels of insulin, our brain tells us we are hungry more often. This begins a cycle. As we eat more, the pancreas makes more insulin, which affects our brain by telling us that we are hungry again. Does that sound familiar? So how do your drinks fit into the picture of health? Drinking sugar-sweetened beverages is a lifestyle behavior that affects our health in a negative way. Most of the sugar in drinks is in the form of high fructose corn syrup. Studies show that high fructose corn syrup is one of the most harmful sugars to our health. An easy way to spot sugar is to look for ingredients with O's at the end of them such as glucose, fructose, lactose. High intakes of sugar-sweetened beverages can lead to a number of other health problems, such as cavities or dental caries, heartburn or gastroesophageal reflux, and metabolic syndrome or syndrome X. Let's talk about this condition a little more. Metabolic syndrome is made up of a bunch of conditions that include insulin resistance, high blood pressure, high triglyceride levels, which is a type of fat found in the blood, and low HDL levels. HDL is the happy or good cholesterol that protects you against heart disease. And lastly, inflammation. Sugar-sweetened beverages and other processed or refined foods can cause inflammation in the body's cells and organs to occur. Over time, Inflammation can be harmful to your health. Be wise to marketers and what they try to sell you. If you look at most ads, 100% juice appears to be healthy, just like the vegetables and fruits that they come from. But that's a myth. These drinks are processed and lack the fiber and other healthy parts that the whole vegetables and fruits have. Did you know that your body processes sugar from 100% juice the same way it processes sugar from sugar-sweetened beverages. If you choose to drink 100% pure juice, then limit to a maximum of half a cup per day. Before today, most of us didn't know how much sugar was actually in the drinks that we slurp back. Now that you understand how sugar affects our body and how marketing tries to promote a product, you can make better choices for your children and for yourself. A topic that deserves some attention is that of sugar-free drinks. 
We know that drinking too much sugar-sweetened drinks leads to poor health. But how about the sugar-free drinks? Sugar-free drinks are sweetened with artificial sweeteners. While it is unclear about the effect of these artificial sweeteners, it is known that they are not without harm. Some research suggests that sugar-free drinks can actually lead to type 2 diabetes and make people crave sweet things, as artificial sweeteners can be 200 to 800 times sweeter than real sugar. For now, if you choose to have pop for a treat, then the sugar-free option is the best one, as the effect of sugar on our body is far more harmful. Remember though, any kind of pop is unhealthy and is a sometimes fluid. Our province is surrounded by water. Our body is mostly water. Water is needed to prevent dehydration. Children, especially young children, are at a higher risk of becoming dehydrated. Dehydration can cause headaches, stomach aches, heat stroke, and in rare cases, death. Remember, water is the drink of choice. Offer this to your children and drink it yourself. Milk, in appropriate amounts, is also a healthy option. If you choose to drink juice, ensure it is 100% pure juice and limit to half a cup per day.